Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ken with Dennis Sports. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to drop this throwback episode from the podcast, and uh, man, it, it, this one I just got. I just listened to it, and I forgot how things, uh, how heated things got between uh, FIFA and I, uh, in our disagreement about Richie and Cognito, and the whole situation that went down in Miami between him and Jonathan Martin. Jonathan Martin is recently been retired and I believe Richie Incognito is with the Buffalo Bills uh, and apparently he's reformed. Since there wasn't a Dead in Sports podcast this week, I wanted to drop this nugget, man. This is a, this is a gem. And again, this shows what you guys miss every Tuesday or could miss every Tuesday on blogtalkradio.com slash dead in sports. Make sure you guys Check us out, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't make that, if you can't listen to the show live, then subscribe to us in iTunes, and you can listen to the replay there. But um, that's it. I won't. I won't keep you guys for long. Go ahead and take a listen to this. To the shouting match, the Richie Incognito shouting match, King versus FIFO. Enjoy. Next issue. <sighs> We're not. There's not an elephant in the room. We're we're going to talk about what everybody's been talking about these last few days. Um, the situation down in Miami. Uh, we're not talking about the heat either. <laughs> uh, for those of you who have been under a rock or not understanding what's been going on, uh, the situation between um, offensive lineman Jonathan Martin and uh, offensive lineman Richie Incognito. Uh, just to give you a brief, brief backdrop. Uh, Incognito was hazing, intimidating, bullying Jonathan Martin to the point where uh, last week Jonathan Martin left the team facility and, in essence, quit. Uh, checked himself into some type of rehab center. Uh, that's the last official word that they've gotten on uh, Jonathan Martin. Uh, Richie Incognito has been suspended by the Miami Dolphins uh, for conduct detrimental to the team. Um, I think it was definitely. Mon- yeah, infinitely. Yeah, it's, there's no there's no timetable on it. Um, there were some text messages uh, exchanged to uh, between Incognito and uh, Martin. Uh, Martin turned these text messages over and voicemails over to uh, his agent, who turned them over to the NFL Players Association. Um, and in those messages, uh, Incognito told. Uh, Jonathan Martin that he would kill him, uh, that he would shit in his mouth, he was going to slap his face, call him the N-word, uh, all types of stuff. So, in essence, he has created a work environment to the point where Jonathan Martin felt like he had to quit playing the game that he loved, or at least walk away from it. Um, I said all that to say this, FIFO. You're from Miami. You, at one point in time during this uh, <laughs> this NFL season, uh, told us about how good the Dolphins were. So you, you're very you know, familiar with this team. Um, what's your take on the bullying situation between Martin and Incognito? I think that, uh, you know, that is completely unacceptable on first in part by Incognito himself. And I think by the veteran leadership on that team and also the teammates. I have played football and I have played basketball. I've been in two different types of locker rooms. And I can tell you that football players and basketball players are completely different. Yes. And what I can tell you is, is that somebody on that team knew. Somebody. There's no way that you travel with these guys, hang out with these guys, talk with these guys pull pranks on other players with these guys and all of that and all of this and nobody knew absolutely nothing. And I think it's even more egregious to the fact that the head coach and the GM had no idea about what's going on so then who's in control of this locker room? And if I was an owner, because I always fancy myself as an owner and I like to view things from a hierarchy perspective when it comes to professional sports, both of these guys would not be back next year. That's just me. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm paying hundreds of millions of dollars to players and 
the staff to make sure that that we have winning ways about our environment and our, in our organization. There's no way in hell that this gets past, let's say, uh, a John Fox mm. and, and John Elway. There's no way that this gets past Belichick. There's no way this gets past Sean Payton. Why? Because they are in total control. And there I say Jerry Jones. There I say Jerry Jones. <laughs> Jerry Jones will know about this. Jerry Jones will know about this. And there's no way. There's, that's just completely unacceptable. And I think that if Incognito is not released, you know, with, you know, within the next couple of days, that that's an indictment on their organization. I think it looks bad. I understand that they have suspended him indefinitely, and that mm-hmm. you know, sometimes I feel like in professional sports you may overreact. In this instance, an overreaction would have been fine. Right. In this instance, right here, because it's unacceptable. It, it's not something that you had to question. It's not his first offense. You know, Incognito has transferred schools from Nebraska because of off-field issues and off-field issues, went to Oregon, was released in three days. That's unacceptable. This guy has a history of this. As soon as, and now I'm, I'm, I'm taking it like how I would have handled it. As soon as I would have heard or got wind of this as the owner, mm-hmm. oh, he would have been gone. He would have been gone. You'd have been free right. agents. My man uh, MK Rabu called in. He just chimed in the chat room. He said that uh, he said they owe Incognito two million this year. So do you keep Incognito and and uh, you know save face, or do you just cut bait with him and still pay him his money? Hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. Hey, look, <laughs> sometimes you gotta pay to get rid of a problem, and two million dollars instead of the PR mess. And everything else, you have to sever ties. Did the, the, the Patriots indefinitely suspend Hernandez? No, because yeah. you don't want your no, they cut him, yeah. associated with that. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 even though, and think about it, Hernandez still has not been charged. Mm-hmm. It's still up in the air. He was definitely guilty in the court of public opinion, but in the judicial system, he is still innocent. And mm-hmm. the Patriots severed ties. They did not suspend him indefinitely because you do not want your organization tied with something of this nature. You you you, you can't you can't stand for it. So as an organization, I, I I ask the question to the Dolphins: What do you stand for? You gotta let this guy go because there's nothing positive that can come out of it. There's no way that you can say incognito, pay his two million dollars. Write him a check. Here you go, bro. You can cash this right now. <laughs> right, right, right. What What about you, Ken? What What's your take on it, Cal? Um, you know what? I kind of want to want to hear what B have to have to say before okay, I chime okay. in. So, <laughs> damn, damn, Ken. But, yeah, um, I'm shit. Buck at on first, that. yeah. At first, I thought he was um. At first, I thought he was being like a bitch, you know, until I started. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Yeah. No, no, seriously, seriously. Hey, same, he hey, same here, B. Same here. That was, that was I, my first thought, too. I, I, yeah, I thought he was until I, I until I, they showed the text messages, and I shit. If I was him, I'd screw the hell out of the organization. <laughs> right. The shit, the shit has been going on for, like, over a year, and, you know, he's been right. having, like, you know, like, he hasn't been going to 10 OTAs because of personal problems. Man, if I was him, I'd just milk that shit, man. I'd milk it. I I fucking like I go to like I act like I have mental problems just like a regular person do at their job or something and just mm-hmm. act like it's a medical <laughs> a medical issue man and like I'll milk it I will milk it like as long as I can I swear I would if I was Martin just milk that shit man and I, I think the coach might be gone I think I mean can I cut Camilo might be gone I think the coach might be fired ah this this ain't looking good for the Miami organization man but it's it's, it's crazy. I would milk it though. That's just me. I act like I'm just make the NFL. And you know, if you act like you making all these TV appearances and stuff, man, I just milk it out. NFL is gonna be some bread. You know how to. Oh, NFL definitely, is. definitely. Because it, it, it right now it is a PR nightmare. Yep. And then nightmare, Roger, one thing we know about Roger Goodell from the, Goodell. you know, from the off the field incidents, from Vic to Ray he, Lewis to everybody on down. He yep. he is all about protecting that shield. You know, he he doesn't want to be. He don't want troublemakers. 
And Kyle, that's exactly why I will milk it. I will milk it out and act like I got all types of problems. <laughs> <laughs> Mental problems from this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm serious. And I you know what, B? And, and you know, I, I feel where you're coming from because at the same time, how Roger Goodell wants to protect that shield, what if Martin goes and starts to sue the NFL? That's very you know, wild. And, 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 and what other stories they start a, coming out? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. And you got That's other stories, and, and this is a league-wide problem, yes. and all of a sudden, and you, you have around. um, yeah. you you have what happened to the Saints the other day, uh, the, uh, yeah. the other, you, you know, a couple years ago. You now, I'm going to throw you something out at you guys that I saw right before we went on the air, and it came from Bleacher Report, uh, that the Dolphins, the, there's a report that the Dolphins actually uh, encouraged Incognito to, quote-unquote, toughen up Martin. That's what I'm so saying. So that changes the whole, you know, because the Dolphins have really been kind of, you know, they really haven't said much. Uh, other than the prepared statement that uh, Joe Philbin read after Sunday's game, um, they hadn't said much. And you know, but if it, there, there's like you said, FIFO, if you play team sports, there's no way that anybody in that coaching staff didn't know what was going on. Clean house, man. Clean house. I'm telling you, I will milk it. I will milk that shit like a cow. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna throw my two cents in before we get Ken's point of view. Um, it's twofold, man. I, I think much like B, when I first heard it, I'm like, man, you got to, you know, Martin, was he a punk or something? At first, I, I thought like he was just being a chump about it because I, I, here's the thing. This guy has been playing football, probably organized football since he was 10 or 11 years old. And you don't walk away from a multi-million dollar contract. You don't walk away from the game that you love just because somebody pissed you off. Uh, you know, should you have to take that kind of abuse? No. Um, and, and, and let's just, let's keep it real. I mean, not only was he bullying, but he was extort. Incognito made this guy pay 15 grand for a trip to Vegas for the fellas that he didn't even take. I mean, I don't know about y'all. I'm not giving up $5 or something I'm not a part of. So, you know, but you know what, Martin, Kyle, that, that, go ahead, go ahead, that's people. part of the hazing, though. You know, like mm-hmm. a, a lot of guys have to pay twenty, thirty thousand dollars for dinner and shit like that. So once or twice, you know that, that that's understandable. But 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 what happened was egregious, and, and there's there's no explanation for that. Right, and I think I think part of the issue that I had with it with you know outside of you know the the extortion and the racial slurs and stuff like that, you know, and a lot of people say, okay, well. And I've, I've listened to a lot of sports talk radio. A lot of people say, well, Martin should have just beat him up. Um, Martin probably couldn't beat up Incognito. Let's just keep it real. <laughs> he probably couldn't beat up Incognito. Uh, that being well, said, it, it's, it's one thing that I, that I think we've all, as young men, have been taught. You have to draw a line at some point in time. I don't care who you are. You could be four years old. And if somebody takes your toy, they keep taking your toy, you know, you, you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to hit them and get it back, or you're going to cry. You know, and most of our parents told, taught us as young men to take our, our stuff back and not to cry and to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself because a bully or someone like Incognito, they're going to keep picking until there's nothing, there's no fabric of you left. That yeah. being said, Martin was in a tough spot. And I'm going to tell you why he was in a tough spot, because uh, Incognito was a member of the uh, leadership crew, leadership committee for the Dolphins, a six-member team. of. So, you know, for him to go tell the team on Incognito, it, that was going to kind of be counterproductive for him because, you know, it's kind of hard to rat when you are ratting to the person that you're going to be ratting on. So, you know, so that made it that much tougher, you know, could he fight him? Yeah, he could have fought him, but you know he pro- he was probably thinking, okay, well if I fight him, you know I'm gonna get beat up. So you know what what is my only recourse? My only recourse is to quit playing the game that I love. Um, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> uh, I, I I know you guys well enough that you wouldn't have done it. I think at some point in time, and you have to take a stand for yourself. And I'm not here to blame Martin for the stance that he took. I will say this much. Like I said, if you don't draw the line at some point in time, you know, they're going to keep picking. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're 10. I don't care if you're 23. 
and the whole hazing thing, that stuff is supposed to go on for a year. Your rookie year, okay, fine. You know, but Incognito was, you know, still hazing this guy and, and, and bothering him. You know, he's a second-year pro. You you don't mess with second-year pros like that. So I think it was, uh, it, it's like, like FIFO said, it's egregious. Um, I feel bad for Martin, but in and and I'll end with this point here. I have yet to hear one Dolphin come out and say Incognito's a bad guy. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I think if you did a poll, a silent poll of his teammates, they would welcome Incognito back long before they would bring in Martin because I think they probably view Martin as somebody who is a quitter. Kim, what's your take? You know what, though, but Kyle, hold on, hold on, yeah. Kim, before you go. Here's the thing, though, Kyle. Do you know the last two years, Cognito, Incognito has been either number one or number two uh, voted dirtiest player in the league? So, I'm not so, surprised. So, 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 you know, his, his – come on, man. People know about this guy. And I think that when you are a teammate, you, you, you try to say the right things, but – you know, what Cameron Wake said and what um uh who's the wide receiver that they just signed? Uh, uh Mike said? Wallace. Mike Wallace said, Come on man, they they they, they weren't right in saying that. I, I, I think the whole thing is just jacked up. Go ahead, Kim man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> you know, uh this whole situation came out as hazing and I wanna say real right off the bat, this is not hazing, this is discrimination. Okay. And, you know, initially when this thing started out, yeah, it was hazing and, you know, he's doing this, that. We didn't know the full story. Just like you guys. I'm like, yeah, the guy needs to toughen up. He couldn't take it. I thought it was a running back. I didn't know it was an offensive lineman. Mm -hmm. But then you see the messages and you see the words that Incognito used, and it changed this whole story. But everybody wants to sit here and stick to the main storyline of it being hazing, and hazing is part of it because of the 15000 that all of the players involved in the team got up and left and had him play for dinner. That part is hazing. But the other part, the B part of this whole situation that makes this matter worse than what it is, are the text messages and the voice messages. We are in the age of 2013. Team Incognito is not a dumb guy. Yeah, he had a rough past growing up, and he was taught to, you know, go from being the the fat kid to being, you know, taking up for yourself. Look, I I got my kid in karate because, you know what, somebody messed with him, you know, he needs to be able to defend himself <laughs> too. You know what I'm saying? Right. He doesn't need to learn the hard way I had to do. Just growing up, just, just look, you just got to fight to toughen yourself up. But the point of the matter is this, man. This guy, and I know people want to stay around him because for the last couple of years, you know, it's always been race, race this, race that, race here and race there. But the fact that we wouldn't talk about it if it does, does if it stops. Mm -hmm. If Incognito never used those words, if he never used the N word, if he just said the the vile things about shitting in the mouth, kind of a little bit different. But when you bring in the N word, it kind of changes the the whole the the way this thing for me is perceived. Why in the world are you saying that in 2013? Oh well, why do we have people running around in blackface on Halloween? Why do we have uh, 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 Ted Cruz saying, "Hey, Obama, you need to go back to Kenya"? When Ted Cruz isn't, you know, when he's not even when his descendants are from another country too. Why do we have those things? Because it's, we still have a far way to go when it comes to accepting each other for who we are. And when things like this pop up, it makes it very difficult to just address the situation for what it is. And I understand and I commend some of the, the bit media publications for doing that, for saying, hey, we're just going to stick to hazing, and hazing is bad, but we cannot ignore the big elephant in the room, the fact that this guy's using racial words. Now, let me yep. get to Martin for a real quick second. Yeah, you're what? right. This is his second year. Incognito is six foot three. <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Martin is six five. So it's not like he didn't have a size advantage over this guy. 
You know what I'm saying? So he could have very well stood up for himself. Like if I'm six five and there's another six three dude talking, you using you sending me text messages like that, and I'm bigger than you. Oh, you best believe I'm gonna come holler at you. You because for one, I know I'm bigger than you, and for two, you're not gonna say that. You're not gonna sit here and 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 insult me in that type of manner. And on top of that, you wanna say what you're gonna do to my mama? Oh hell no! <laughs> hell no. You, can't, you can't bring the mom in. Okay, but look, let, let, let's not forget that Martin is also Stanford educated, and if you know, sometimes we want to look at things in hindsight. And hindsight, you know, the the the, the, the phrase is always twenty twenty. Maybe mm-hmm. he handled it the best way because physical a physical altercation doesn't solve anything. But this way now. He didn't have to fight nobody. He didn't have to face incognito one-on-one or anything like that. Now it's in the form of public opinion. And now people have made their opinion on incognito. I believe that incognito is not going to be in the league anymore because of this. And Martin wins. And yeah, on I... top of that, he can, he, if he so chooses to blow this even up bigger, he can sue the league. Yeah. He can sue the Dolphins. Told you. I don't even have to play football to make my money. I'm nope. Stanford educated. And probably make more. Exactly. <clears throat> guaranteed because football is not guaranteed. So, so to me, I honestly think that Martin handled it in the best way possible. Because I'm not a father. But I know when I do have a child, I'm going to tell them that you have to stand up for yourself. But at the same time, you also have to make grown decisions as to when it is appropriate to fight and when it's not appropriate to fight. And in all honesty, in a locker room, I don't think that type of dissension would have been smart. I think the way that Martin has, is handling it and has handled it is the correct way for this particular situation. Yeah, you know what? I, I agree. I think he, um, I, I think, you know, for the bigger picture, right, you know, because everybody now understands and know that hazing it goes on and it's kind of a big deal. And even though they're going to do this whole PR run to make it appear as if they cleaned it up, we know it's still going to go on because guess what they're doing right, right now? They're still trying to defend hazing. But <laughs> yeah, right. I guess what I'm kind of saying is that I was a little bit surprised when I saw that he was bigger than our incognito, right? I can understand if he was like, you know, a running back or, you know, a 6 one quarterback or or a six two, you know, uh a receiver, you know, kind of small, you know, not like a Megatron guy. <laughs> like this dude this dude is a lineman like they can go like I'm not gonna sit here and say if if this dude's saying this I'm I'm gonna sit here and, and and come run up in his face I don't know I may say a couple of things too because I have a bit of a temper but I do know this guy's huge as hell and he's six three so I might come in there with a couple of things but what I'm saying is that when I looked at Martin and I saw that he he doesn't sacrifice much in terms of size. I, I was kind of surprised. He, he there was no altercation. I, I thought, you know, the guy but just. You, but you know what? Okay. You know, like you're talking about size, and I'm talking about education. Even even Martin's parents are, I believe, Harvard and Stanford educated. Yeah, 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 educated, yeah, yeah. If, 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 if I'm not mistaken, so therefore, again, like the way you grew up and the way I grew up, no, we're not taking that. You grew up in the South during racism where you had to fight for everything that you had, regardless. And I grew up in a city, and B grew up in a city where, yo, you go down the wrong block wearing the wrong colors, you you fighting for your life. It's a mm-hmm. different environment. This guy is Stanford educated. Mama and daddy are Stanford and Harvard educated. His approach to this situation was the correct one. He didn't have to fight him. Why should I have to fight you for? What for? What am I going to get that, out of you know, that? That's a good point. But I'll, I'll say this, though, uh, FIFO. Incognito knew which one to pick on. I mean, we we yeah. both play team sports, and we know yeah. that there is a there's a certain level of good natured ribbing, joning, joking, clowning, whatever you whatever word you want to use, wherever you're from, and. Can it go far? Of course it can. And, and, and I'm pretty sure we've been in situations and seen situations where it has gone far. 
Um, <clears throat> that being said, he had better be glad that he picked on Martin and not someone else. Because can you imagine Incognito trying this against, let's say, Steve Smith? <laughs> the no. man who just a couple of weeks ago said, you know, if he saw this cornerback from the uh, St. Louis Rams on the street, he'd bust him in his fucking mouth. Um, you know, so he knew which one he was picking on. And I will say this much to, to kind of underscore FIFO's point. If Martin doesn't have the temperament, and, you know, some people, I, I saw a couple of comments, and I shot out to my man Damon who commented on my Facebook page and said that uh, Martin needs to toughen up. If Martin didn't have the calm temperament that he has, what if he was a hothead? If he was a hothead, he could have said, you know what, I'm going home. Or I'm going to my car. And I'm coming back. And he comes back and he shoots incognito right in the Dolphins locker room. Now we got a whole nother story. You know what I'm saying? It's like bang, bang. But yep. you don't exactly. have no call. Go ahead. Thing too, but... What's worse, right? Him potentially getting into a physical altercation or, you know, potentially losing his life because, you know, let's not play around. These NFL dudes, a lot of them come from places where, you know, uh, you, right. you, you don't want to walk <clears throat> at night by yourself. Right. But what's worse, that, that physical altercation or potentially losing your career? Because what job can Richie Incognito make have what he's going to have over six figures no, because he's not going to be on TV. He's not nope. going to be on NFL Network. He's not going to get another NFL job. So I really hope that he did get his education or he has enough money to go back and pay for his education because he's going to be a regular Joe 300 pound schmo now. And, and, and to me, that is the worst thing because once you are adept and used to a certain type of lifestyle Going back to mm-hmm. a regular Joe Schmo that, yo, that, I think that's worse That's worse than taking a punch Or me beating up on a, on, on a 5 foot 11 Steve Smith while we should Because I know Steve Smith would have came at him But at the end oh, of the day Come on, 315, 6'3 You know, versus 5'11, 180 Come on, we know who's going to win that fight But at the end of the day the fact, the potential that he could possibly lose his job, his career, his lifestyle, he knows it, is way bigger. And that's why I have to give credit to Martin in this situation. He played the game the way you're supposed to play it. Sometimes you got to use your head over your head. Yeah, but I, I, I agree with that, FIFO, and, and I won't argue that in, in the least bit. But I think Kyle said something that was uh, right on the money, man. Incognito definitely knew who he can mess with. We all know who we can mess with (laughs) in certain situations, right? He knew that Martin was that guy. And and I'll tell you how he knew it, because he took it a step further. He went there with the comments about his mom and using the N-word. And yeah, 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 we know that, oh, Richie Cognito, he's not racist. He was just saying that this and that. He even has black friends. Of course he's not racist. We all know that. But the fact of the matter is you use racist things. You know, I got I to gotta, I gotta kind of, you know, look at you that way, man. But... When he went that far and said what he said, the things he said, when he just made it like real personal, like I'm going to just keep poking right. and prodding, he knew that Martin was going to walk away. He knew Martin was going to walk away. And and is Martin playing the cards right? Absolutely. It's, it's a big, massive storyline. Wall Street Journal's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Martin won. So, the NFL so now has another a, a situation to deal with. But, Kyle, you're right, man. He knew Martin was that guy. <laughs> but, but let me ask you this, though, Ken. So even though if Martin was that guy that you could push and do whatever you wanted to, where did it come from? Who, who initiated it? The Dolphins, the Brass, or somebody within that organization, like Kyle said earlier, let's make this guy tougher, right? So... I can't put all the blame on incognito and even him going that far because if, I, if I'm a coach and I tell one of my veteran players, hey, you know what? This guy right here needs to get tough, toughened up and it's your job to do it. You don't think as that coach or the brass of that organization, I'm going to check up with incognito to see how it's going? 
And to allow it to go that far, it, look, man, Martin played it the right way. Incognito went way too far. And that's not cool at the end of the day. And who's to say that Cognito has not done this to somebody else? Will, yeah, Will found out in a room. Yeah, Will. That's true. And, and, and I think there's a reason why Martin didn't say anything. Now, now let me let me stop you there, FIFO. If Do you think if he did that to somebody else, uh, he's going to, you know, that somebody else will come forward with that? I, you know what? Here's the thing. I don't think that you can get away with something like this to another veteran player just because that, that that's just not going to go down. But for a rookie, and again, I talked about it last week. When you are not an Aaron Rodgers or a, a – or, or, or one of these high, higher paid players on the team that you know virtually for the next couple years your 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 spot on this team is locked. You see what I'm saying? You're you're not going to say anything to jeopardize your lifestyle. You're not going to say oh, anything no to jeopardize this four, five, six hundred thousand dollars that I'm making per year, and that any time you can cut me and it doesn't mean shit to the organization. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything because I need this money. Oh yeah, you're and right I about that. That's part of the reason why Martin didn't say. What is Martin going to say? And like kid, like you said, Incognito was part of the, the the committee. So I'm so I'm so I'm voicing to the committee that this guy's a part of that. He's doing these things that are way across the line. On top of that, my contract isn't that you know isn't guaranteed. I don't know if you're going to cut me anywhere because I need to be toughened up. Then that's coming from the organization itself. Nah, man. I, look, he did the right thing, and Kyle, you were right. He was in a tough position. I wouldn't have said shit because I'm trying to get these checks. I'm trying to get these checks, man. That's a lot. But of you know what? Money. But but FIFO, you have the, the the type of personality and the mentality where Incognito would have never stepped to you. He would have never stepped. To Not you. like that. No, no, no. Nah. no. He he would have said something about my mama. And, and, yo, yo, I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna click, click, bang, bang, but I'm gonna let you know I can. <laughs> you better that Yo, right, let, let, okay. Let me ask you guys this, right? I think we all it's probably safe to say that Richie Incognito is is probably out of the league. Yeah, um, he, this was his last year on this particular deal that he's on. What about Jonathan Martin? If you are a football team. Do you want a guy, do you want him in your locker room? I'm perfectly fine with him. I'm perfectly I'm fine okay with him because it. I'd rather him handle the situation the way he did than to click, click, bang, bang, or to start some type of physical altercation. So I'm perfectly fine with him. So, you don't, so none what of the mean? perceived lack of <laughs> toughness or anything, that doesn't, you know, th- you, you, think you, about you, that? You know what, man, this whole situation, softness, lack of toughness thing. Why? Because he didn't react? That takes way more strength than toughness, than, 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 yeah. than, than not, than reacting. I agree with FIFO. I agree with FIFO on that point right there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with him. I'm cool with him, you know, picking him up or whatever. All right, cool. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just wondering. The phone number. You know, because, and, and the reason why I asked because FIFO, I mean, no, Kyle, you said that one of the things about Martin was that he wasn't tough enough. So if that was an organizational thing and they hired or they basically sent Incognito after him to toughen him up, I would stand the reason that other people in that locker room probably perceived him as not being so tough too. So, okay. and we all know that, you know, football is, is one of those, those sports where, you know, you, you enter the trenches together and they don't really kind of need the quote-unquote soft guy around. So, you know, if the organization had those thoughts, I'm pretty sure the locker room felt the same and why they continue to pick on him and why you have some people saying, you know what, Air Carnito's an okay guy. You know, he's no, fine. Okay. I have no issues with him. You know, so okay. that, that's why I asked. But again, Incognito was voted the last two years as a top two dirtiest player in the league. Last year, just or this year, this year or last year behind Sue, and the year before he was the number one player. So maybe his teammates in that locker room think he's cool because it's something that they should and have to say if they want to get through a season. But obviously, the rest of the damn league does not think that. Well, well, I I, I kind of slightly disagree with that. Yeah, he was voted 
those, you know, he was voted the dirtiest player in the league, right? But I did see a story on Richie Incognito on ESPN where they talked about how he turned his life around and how well, Incognito himself, you know, felt bad about the things that he's done. So this may go a little bit deeper than, than we think because so, – so, 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 No, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is that – he was voted, right? After his vote, after that vote, and after being let, let go from the Lions, he had a different career in Miami before this incident, right? And even before then, in Miami, they, there was something they saw in him to vote him as, uh, no, and I forgot whatever but, it is, no, Ken, and then this Ken, come out. Ken, Ken, but here's the thing, right? Incognito was voted on by the players. Not what? That That's what I'm saying, though. Wait, the wait, players wait, wait. voted on, on him. Hold on, Pimpin. I'm not done, Pimpin. I'm not done. <laughs> Herm Edwards, I, I listened to Herm Edwards today, and he said love that her. he was a head coach, and he, I love Herm Edwards, too. When he was a player and a coach, those type of committees to police the locker room were not was not picked by the players themselves. That was picked by the head coach. Because the head coach ultimately is responsible for the 53-man roster. Not the players, the coach. Okay. So, with that being said, like I said before, the rest of the league th- does not like Incognito because they think he's a dirty player. Of course, the players on his team are going to say he's a good guy because they have to make it through the rest of the season with this guy. And once you have a background and a history that Incognito have, regardless of how you feel and you think that you turned your life around, why did this happen? And it goes all the way back to the point where we were making about Gucci, man, on that in hip-hop. My kid is not going to be listening to this guy because two weeks, three weeks, two, four months later, he is doing the same bullshit. And oh, my God. that is the problem with people that have, they're repeat offenders, man. Look at Pac-Man. People. Yeah, yeah you, can, yeah, you can have a period in time where you can be good, but at the end of the day, by your nature, you are going to do these type of things. Yeah. It is part That's of true. you. But, 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 Ain't is no it not safe that, to man. say, though, FIFO, that, and if this story that Kyle is saying is true, if this organization didn't come, then pull incognito into one of those dark rooms and say, hey, we need you to toughen this guy up, is it, is it safe to say that he may not have even done this? Because, <laughs> yeah, he had a, yeah, wait a second, hold on, he had a history, a very negative history. That was well documented, but nobody's talking about how he turned himself around. They're only highlighting all of the negatives. Whoa, and and they are pointing out that he was voted blah, 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 blah at the beginning of the year. They did that for a reason. There was no PR about it. There was, there was nothing that had to do with the organization. They did it for a reason. People are turning on this guy now, because, and rightfully so, because of his him. action. They're not turning on him. His history in itself is his main... You already made your decision, Ken, and you cannot stand on both sides of the fence on this topic. I'm not playing on both sides of the fence. I'm just pointing out that if you can be the dirtiest player in the league, you can... Look, 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 hold on on a second, man. Hold on a second. Do we not... Do we not... Wait, wait, hold on. Do we not have preachers that were once drug dealers and game bangers that's preaching the word of God? That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. How is it irrelevant? Ken, Ken. You are saying that this guy turned his life around, right? And it's, it's documented. Not, it's it's a story. Wait, it was I'm a new saying, story that was wait, put out. Ken, wait, wait. My employer comes to me and tells me, yo, you know what, man? This guy's a little soft. I'm a, I, yo, it's your job to toughen him up. If I changed my way and I was a better man and I went to anger management and I understood and I took everything that I learned and applied it, we would have never got to this point. Is my point, Ken. If you would have turned, the, if you would have turned the corner, you would have never gone to where this is going. You would have never crossed that line. You would have toughened this guy up. You would have said whatever you had to say. You would have hazed him and did whatever that people normally do, which is okay. But he crossed the line. And once you make that turning point, where when you say that you that you're a better pl- a person, then you don't cross the line. But at the that same time, people. Wait, Ken. I'm not done. That means that his history got the best of him. And he didn't change. He hasn't changed. He's the the same Richie Incognito that got booted off of Nebraska, got booted from Oregon, 
got kicked off the line. He's the same damn player. He ain't changed nothing. I, while I agree that if you look at the facts of this case that's presented before us then now, it looks like the same incognito. No. Right, but I cannot ignore the new evidence that just came forward. We all know why the Dolphins brought him up because the the Dolphins were tired of being pushed around and they wanted that crazy white boy on their team. I've said it all. You, everybody wants that crazy white boy on their team that nobody want to mess with. Incognito is the hired gun. That's why that if if what Kyle is reporting and what is is true, this is why they went to him and said, "Yo, we need you to do what." you do and we need you okay. to do what you do best no, and no, that's no, what he no, did this, he wait, took wait, it too wait, far wait, but wait, 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 hold on hold on now i'm not finished now i'm not finished hold on wait this 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 is important now here's the thing when this story broke and it came out of that it said it was in incognito was behind all of this of course because of his past everybody's gonna look, oh well i'm not surprised but incognito vehemently denied everything on twitter Everything. Why? Because if the organization approached him about doing this, he thought that maybe, just maybe, I would have the organization backing me up and helping me cover this up. Whoa, 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 I, whoa, 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 I, Look, it could very well possibly whoa, happen. Because what? Whoa, he didn't know the voicemails and text messages were going to get out. Ken, Ken, all right. First and foremost, he crossed the line. So regardless I'm not of saying he didn't cross the line. Let me, Ken. He oh, okay, let's finish. The line. So regardless, the organization is not going to have your back. And then let's look at it from a football perspective in the NFL, right? Yeah, you know, I understand sometimes you need a tough guy on your team, this, that, and a third. But at the end of the day, the, as much as I love the Miami Dolphins, since Dan Marino, they have been the epitome of mediocrity, dog. The epitome of mediocrity. None of this will happen in some of the organizations that win consistently year after year. It's not happening in Sean Payton's locker room. It's not happening in Bill Belichick's locker room. It's not happening in all of the top brass locker rooms. This type of behavior. This is not happening under Ray Lewis's watch. Are you serious? This is not happening across multiple locker rooms. This happens in locker rooms where is where there is dysfunction and non because when this happens you cannot win as a team. You cannot win. This is not winning mentality, dog. Regardless, regardless if it comes from the fifty third man or it's high up from the owner. When this happens inside of an organization, you are not winning. And the Dolphins have not won for over a decade. Yeah, they keep they, they, drafting they've been struggling. They struggle all the time. Why? Because there's no leadership there, Ken. And if you're telling me what Incognito did with leadership, what, what I hear is that the Dolphins said, yo, look, we like this guy. We meet, You're a leader on this team. We brought you here for that. Chucking this guy up. He crossed the line. No, the organization is not going to have his back. And if he did turn no, the organization going to under the person, Hey, but you, but they have to because you have they to. Have, they, oh, of course, of course. Yeah, if 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 the organization doesn't throw him under the bus, then they are liable because they, in essence, created a hostile work environment. And not and, and, and Richie Incognito can say, well, hey, you know, they told me to do it. You know, I was just following you know protocol. Uh, this came from the top, and they wanted me to you know rough this kid up and and, and you know help help him grow up here. 